Have you ever seen or heard warnings to stay out of a local river or stream following rain because of a CSO and wondered what a CSO is, why they happen, and why they are a problem? This video will help answer these questions. CSO is an acronym that stands for Combined Sewer Overflow and is a term used to describe what happens when combined sewer systems become overwhelmed by excess stormwater and overflow into nearby streams and rivers. Combined sewer systems are stormwater and wastewater conveyances that carry domestic sewage, stormwater runoff, and sometimes even industrial waste in one pipe. Most combined sewer systems in the United States were installed in the mid to late 1800s as a result of a considerable population shift from rural to urban areas. As cities experienced population growth, they also became overwhelmed with more wastewater that resulted in unsanitary conditions and sometimes even disease outbreaks, ultimately leading to a need for centralized wastewater management. At the time, combined sewer systems were the preferred option for managing stormwater and wastewater in urban areas because less pipe was needed and they were considered more affordable than systems that separated stormwater from domestic sewage. The first combined sewer system in the United States was installed in Chicago in the late 1850s, and by the end of the century, most cities with centralized wastewater management had combined systems. Combined sewer system overflows are sometimes referred to as wet weather discharges because they happen after rain and snow. These events release a combination of stormwater, untreated human and industrial waste, sediment, oil and greases, de-icing chemicals, as well as floating debris and other stormwater pollutants into our waterways. All wet weather discharges are known to have detrimental effects on receiving waters, and CSOs have resulted in degraded water quality, unsafe swimming conditions, beach closings, and shellfish harvesting restrictions in order to prevent spreading human pathogens and illness. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, combined sewer overflows are a priority water pollution concern for nearly 860 municipalities across the United States. Pennsylvania is considered to have the largest CSO problem in the United States, and 152 communities within Pennsylvania, including Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Harrisburg, experience combined sewer overflows. Combined sewer systems were never designed to handle all of the water during wet weather events, and a number of overflows were expected. However, growth of urban centers as well as an increase in extreme rainfall have exacerbated CSO occurrences. The carrying capacity of combined sewer systems is too often exceeded during periods of rainfall or snowmelt, causing combined sewer overflows at relief points throughout these systems. These overflow points can't simply be plugged because they prevent wastewater backups in basements, flooding onto streets, and overloading of wastewater treatment facilities. Widespread problems of combined sewer overflows have led to local, state, and federal efforts to control or eliminate CSOs. Today, CSOs and other wet weather flows are regulated under the National Pollution Discharge Elimination System Program. These regulations prohibit untreated discharges from combined sewer systems during dry weather and require CSO system owners to implement minimum control measures in order to lessen the volume of water bypassing the wastewater treatment plant and to reduce the total pollutant loads associated with combined sewer overflows. In order to meet these goals, communities employ a variety of creative approaches, such as retrofitting stormwater basins, disconnecting impervious surfaces, and improving infiltration of stormwater with green infrastructure. In many areas, low impact development design, which increases the amount of stormwater that soaks into the ground, is being used to limit runoff from new development. In addition to having a plan for addressing water quantity, communities must also develop long-term plans for dealing with water quality problems caused by CSOs, such as increasing the capacity of wastewater treatment plants, separating wastewater from stormwater, and other strategies for eliminating or minimizing CSO discharges. Even with all minimum control measures in place, it's not possible to eliminate all CSO events immediately. Communities in Pennsylvania have been making upgrades to improve and repair their combined sewer systems over time. But the capacity of drainage systems and wastewater treatment plants are often exceeded because of the historic increase in impervious surfaces as well as larger and more frequent storms that have caused a greater volume of stormwater runoff. While the responsibility for addressing CSO problems falls on the communities that are operating these systems, 
we all can help lessen the impacts of stormwater runoff by doing simple things like installing rain barrels, creating rain gardens, and disconnecting our downspouts from the stormwater systems in our communities. If you have additional questions about stormwater, or you're just interested in learning more, you can find a full series of videos and articles in the Penn State Extension Stormwater Basics series.